and embrace seen around the world. In San Francisco, President Biden expressing condolences to Yulia Navalny, the widow of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny, as well as his daughter, Dasha. He was a man of incredible courage, and it's amazing how his wife and daughter are, are, are emulating that. Though he referred to Navalny's widow, Yulia, by a different name. Yolanda is going to, she's going to continue to... After Navalny's mysterious death, international outrage is growing. His mother says Russian authorities showed her his body, but refused to release it and blackmailed her to avoid a large memorial service. They started threatening me, she says. They say that if I don't agree to a secret funeral, they will do something with my son's body. Russia's prison service says the 47-year-old Navalny died last week in a penal colony. According to Navalny's spokesperson, his death certificate now says he died of natural causes. The U.S. is set to announce more than 500 new sanctions against Russia tomorrow. The sanctions that we'll be announcing on Friday will be in connection both to the two-year anniversary of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine and to Navalny's death. Last night, off-camera at a fundraiser, President Biden called Vladimir Putin a, quote, crazy SOB. Today, the Russian president, with a smile, brushed off the comment, saying he still preferred President Biden over former President Donald Trump. Putin's spokesman added Mr. Biden's vocabulary humiliates America itself and is an attempt to appear as a Hollywood cowboy. Russia has been under sanction since it invaded Ukraine, so it's not clear how effective this latest round will be. Lester? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.